Guys, I'm gonna try to do this. It's kind of windy out here. I don't want a lot of noise, but this doesn't have anything to do with gardening or raising chickens or flowers or anything like that, or prepping or nothing. A lot of you guys have kids, and uh, you know, when I was a kid, we had matchbox cars, a few GI Joes, and some old Tonka trucks that uh, have been passed through the family for the last 20 years. I become a dad, I didn't know that you had to buy uh, all these big fancy toys all the time. And I'm a tight one. Uh, it's been handed down from generation to generation, I've been told. And uh, I found this, uh, one of my friends had this. He had some kids, and we had two of them. But the batteries didn't work. So I had one good battery and one bad battery. Well, I give the one that had the bad battery to my in-laws because they're raising my nieces and nephew and um, they bought a battery they give they found one at a, like a, a weekend outlet I don't know what you'd call it they get like uh, buy pallet fulls of stuff at auctions and then they sell it and it had they had some batteries for like 20 bucks but they only had one so they went ahead and bought it I wish they had another so if they could have bought me one I'd had a spare but um, it went about a year, and the battery went out on this thing. They're like $80 if you go to Walmart. or I've looked on eBay, and they're real expensive. And they're like a 9.5 amp hour battery, a rechargeable battery. I said, God, that's not very, very a lot of time on that. So I was at Tractor Supply the other day and was looking at the batteries. I'm going to show you what I got. I might have to take his hood off. There, that'll do. I bought a battery for a lawnmower. It's a 280 amp hour battery, 12 volt. I just had to do a little fabrication here with a cutting knife. Fits right in there. I just cut the leads off of the, or cut the end of the lead off. I left a little bit if I ever run across one of those batteries. I could pick it up this is 30 bucks she's run the wheels off this thing in the last two or three days and it's never slowed down usually she would uh, run it down about two hours so I'm hoping that I can get this thing to last a little bit longer but if you run into this guy that's a real easy fix as you can see it's not a new one now, I probably wouldn't do a new one like that this one's ready for the the junkyard of toys, you know. So, and I really don't care whether it's, you know if it's a new one or not, cause she's rough. She run through my garden while I was trying to put potatoes out. Uh, she's run into my chicken house. She's run into my building. She's run into me. And uh, you know these old toys, you pick them up at flea markets, yard sales, or Craigslist, Facebook yard sales, stuff like that. Cheap. People just want to get rid of them. I thought I'd throw that up there in case you all was having the same problems I had. I'll show you how I fixed it. It works pretty good. Thanks for watching.